Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. Welcome back to Lee and Kamer. I'm Ben Joris, and I'm going to play with a new look horror spell. Let me just begin. Let the game load. Okay. Version 1.7. Here we have it four times planned. So let me just further go. So first, let me just go. Lassen, deur gaat al lopen, ze. Ja. Oké, wij moeten die schrift nog hebben, hè? Want dat kunnen we niet aan, omdat die vrouw daar aan die paal is, hè? Dus laten we maar eens iets proberen hier te flikken, hè? Open de lijnt. Warage. Oh, wacht. Ho, ho, ho. Nee. Gloves, US. Oh, wacht. Um, Glove, yes. Glas, toilet. Flush. Oei, sorry, de wc is overgelopen. Laten we het daar rap maar zeggen, hè? Bellen. Ik heb geen goed maar geen op te gaan. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Okay. Ah, oh, it's the gloves again. I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Okay, the wc with the middle of hand. Uh, what the wc overgelopen is. We moeten ook maar kunnen, hè. Maar ja, anders, anders blijft dat zo dus. En als je dan iemand aan de wc moet, dat is niet prettig. Tik. Dus, voilà. De schrift hebben we al. Dus laten we nu maar terug naar de wc gaan. Om mijn handen te wassen, maar dat zal ik vergeten. Enter. It wasn't you who did it, was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. Oh, ik ook dat je wel als keer een slechte niet uit wat het zit met handen. Ik ga het niet hebben dat het stinkt wat erin komt. Mm -hmm. Kijk, Pries. Die AG overgeef. Dan hij het zich. Ik zou het niet willen, zullen. En dat mij nou beschuldigen. Dat ik dat gedaan heb. Ook al heb ik dat gedaan, maar dan moet zij weer niet weten. Dus laten we geen maar pennen gaan. Hè, want... Allee, we zijn al pennen gaan, toch? Um... Stik. Water. Well, that's it. That's damp. Nu damp dat precies aan. Begint aan te dampen, hè, met dat water. Alleen met die damp die uit dat ding komt. Oké, we gaan dat water afzetten, hè. Dus ja, we laten dat water maar aanstaan. Open. Dan gaan we hier terug babbelen om de naam van die moeder te krijgen. Als je echt een vriend bent, 
You will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Sure. Sheila. Yes. yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Uh, the YouTube now how to get out of here. Drop down wedding dish this place. Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. Is that a active health signal or something? Precies. What is What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it. I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> It's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near. And yet so far, I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Uh, are you... are you... Are you all right? I'm fine. Yes, it's all fine. It's just hard to wait, you know? They said I can have it. You know, yeah? So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me. The one with the red glasses, but I think it's been three hours already. Why are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Because I swear if she did, I will hurt myself again. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. They're probably just very busy, that's all. Feel like calling which is your name? Like this. I talk to you later. Yes. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. Can you have a to give me? I've found this red stuff you were talking about, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. How about you give me your name band in return? Is that okay? Oh, yeah. 
I don't mind. Take it. Thank you for your help. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. Yes, we go in the door. Can we end the outing? So we we get the signals. I don't know how to get the signals. Oh, door is closed. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um. Well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily, we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment it's too late for it now but i promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning okay and then you can go home is that all right i haven't really got much choice have i now i'd like to ask you some questions about your life susan you might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course. I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Uh, no. cat, Are you red? I felt it is going to run me most of time. I left on me alone and is Alina? I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I used to like being on my own. But I'm not sure if I still do. Too much time with my thoughts. And no one to talk to. Maybe I should get a parrot. We'd have a little chat each time I feel like opening up. Or maybe you could consider finding friends through our suicide watch service. They're very good. Helped a lot of people. Okay. Maybe I will. What do you do for a living? I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. You do? Do you like it? It's okay. I don't mind it. It's just a job. It's important to keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? A drink store. Coffee and smoking on to smoking does rock, huh? To put on. Uh, 
I lie in bed awake, can't bring myself to open my eyes. I see. I'm scared of the coming day. I know already what'll happen. And what's that, Susan? Nothing, really. Nothing at all happens in this stupid, empty life. Sometimes I wonder why I even get dressed. What for? For who? I hardly ever get out of the flat anyway. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Not really. I don't feel that safe at all. How can you feel safe these days anyway? You can be living next door to a murderer who'll blow your head off for a bit of fun. Local kids have set an old man on fire the other day. They filmed him as he burned to his death. I knew this woman. She slipped on a wet bathroom floor, cracked her head open and broke a leg. She lied there bleeding for two days, unable to move. By the time they found her, it was already too late. Susan, taking risks is a part of life. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Ah, bed, man, I have on. I want them a nice. A good friend. Someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People avoid me. You'll have to try to open up a bit. Hopefully the suicide watch worker will work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression? or some other form of counseling. No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? Want als dat toch te pik zijn, dus daar mag niks van aannemen van die mevrouw. Ja, vind je nou iets? Waar ik sleep en waar rust? Nooit. Rarely. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? definitely better than before the accident. Good. Hopefully you can now move on from here. With a bit of luck you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempts often have that effect on people. Same as near-death experience. It makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Yes, sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only sometimes. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Um, I... Yes, I think about it often. But now, I know I can't do it. Still, it won't just go away that easily. I need more time. I need to think it through. I need to find my peace with the world, I guess. Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Uh, 
Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? It's hard to say. It could be anything. Sometimes it could be just little things. The way my hair looks. Shoes I can't find. When I run out of milk. I get angry with myself for being clumsy. For not being able to cheer up and just get on with things. Like everyone else. Have you imagined your funeral? And how people will react to your death? Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know, but hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well... After I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me, quickly. Ik krijg me een schimmige haas. Maar, maar de rest is voor de volgende keer. Ik hoop dat jullie er van genoten hebben dat dat was. 
aanbouw, dat heb je echt echt leuk vindt. En als ik tot een volgende schiet of horror geef, dag.